Let's consider distinguishable objects in two different boxes. What if I were to take eight balls, each distinguishable, and distribute them equally among two boxes? How many ways could you arrange four in each box? Is that 20, 70, or 150? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, the balls are distinguishable, so it must be the smallest possible number. B, Pascal's triangle extends to eight items, shows 70 in the center. Or C, the number of combinations is large, so choose the largest possible. Think about those three explanations and make another selection. We're talking about distributing distinguishable objects between two possible boxes. So here I have some objects. I'm distributing between two boxes. How many ways can I arrange them so that they're equally distributed? Or in this case, four in each box. Well, you can do that mathematically, it turns out. This is an eight choose four from your algebra. The number of ways to choose are things from a group of n things is given by a relatively simple formula in r and n. But we don't have to do that. We know that we can extend our Pascal's triangle that we had from six, seven, eight things. And when I get up to eight things, this number in the center is the number of ways to arrange equal particles on each side. So there's 70 ways to arrange this system with an equal number of particles on each side. It's 70 times more likely for the particles to be arranged like this than all on one side. So the correct answer here is B, 70.